Hey folks, this is Deepman and uh, what I'm going to do today in this tutorial, I'll show you a method of creating uh, a scan for these candlestick patterns without writing a single line of code. And um, the, the reason why uh, this is a little bit unique is because this is not well explained uh, in uh, any of the YouTube videos. So uh, I hope you'll find this useful. So this is the image that I shared and uh, I actually gave you uh, an output of, uh, you know, some of the stocks that I met that criteria on Friday. So in this case, we're going to look at uh, the first one, which uh, it says, you know, so you have at, at minimum, you have uh, three down days. What that really means is that the low uh, is lower than the low of the previous day, right, for three consecutive days. And then on the most current candle, uh, the high of the previous bar is taken out, right? So this is a, a pattern that is, uh, uh, according to some published data, 84% bullish. Now, what would you do to create a scan for this? And uh, assuming you're not very savvy with writing, uh, you know, simple th think script code, um, I'll show you a method uh, by whereby you can do it with simple drag and drop. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at how we do that. So, so this is your standard, uh, you know, thinkorswim uh, setup. And what you're going to do is you're going to click on this thing called uh, the patterns here. So click on this and then do select patterns, and then. Uh, click on candlestick here and then instead of selecting one of the um, existing um, setups you're going to do create because we're going to create something based on our needs right so the beauty of this is once you learn how to do this then you can create a scan for any kind of candlestick pattern uh, that you uh, think is profitable or you know uh, uh, works with your trading style so let's uh, click on the trading um, on the create button and uh, we're going to hit the plus button and uh, we'll call it a down candle. So we'll just say, uh, let's add another down candle and um, uh, another down candle. So we have three down days and then, you know, on the fourth one, we'll call it an up candle. Okay. So all you need to do is, you know, you take the high of this, right? <clears throat> or basically, sorry, the low of this, the low of this has to be lower than this, right? So you just take the low and connect it here and say this is less than and this low is low is lower than this low so right we're going to do and the same thing connect here and say less than and then on the fourth candle right so the we've got three lower lows and the fourth candle we're saying the close has to be above the high of the prior candle so let's do this okay and is greater than that right so that's pretty much uh, all you need to do so you've got three lower lows and on the fourth candle the close is taken out the high of the previous bar all right so now um think look at how clever this thing is that the code is already generated now you didn't have to write a single line of code all you need to do is you just need to copy this part of the code and uh, say control c here and uh, close this Cancel out of this, cancel out of this as well. So what we'll do is uh, we'll go into the, the, uh, the scan uh, tab on the Thinkorswim platform, okay? So the first thing you'll do is you'll add a, a filter and we'll say, uh, here's creating a study filter here, right? So we create a study filter, click on the edit button and uh, so go into the Thinkorscript editor and hit control V, right? So if you've pasted the code here. So now say hit OK. What I'm going to do is because it's going to give too many stocks, I'm going to add a couple other filters. So we're going to add uh, two more studies and I'll explain what those are in a second. So in this one, what we're going to say is we're looking for stocks that have an average volume, at least half a million, sir. Average volume, say let's 30 days is greater than uh, 500,000. Okay. So uh, now you could also say volume is greater than uh, 500,000, but when you do that, then the problem is that those scans will not show up or the results will not show up in the scan unless and until on that day it has exceeded half a million. So that could be like maybe, you know, uh, half a day has passed or a quarter of a day has passed. But when you say average volume, then it's looking at the average 30 day volume and just, you know, looking at that data, which is really useful. Now, the next thing we're going to do is, um, again, this is just my taste, right? I like trading stocks which have an average true range of at least, uh, let's call it four, right? So in other words, 
the difference between the high and low is at least four points. So those are the kind of stocks I end up trading because, you know, then they give you enough sort of leverage and movement during the day, right? Hit OK on that. So now that this is defined, and as I said, well, we just wrote a little bit of, um, you know, two line code, but that's almost uh, minuscule. Now let's hit the scan button. And uh, hopefully we should see the stocks that I highlighted in uh, uh, exactly the same stocks that I um, have uh, highlighted in um, uh, the chat session as well. OK, so let's take a, a look at that. So maybe um, originally I used three. So let me use three instead of four and see if we get maybe uh, one or two more results. So let's do that and see what do we get. OK, so yeah, so we get a little bit more stock. So what we can do is we can just, uh, you know, one of the things you can do is you, if you save it as a list here, right, just by clicking um, save as, uh, which is one of these options here. Uh, yeah, save scan query, then it becomes a dynamic uh, scan, right? In other words, uh, so let, well, let's just save it as a dynamic scan. Let's just call it XXX underscore Atlas here and just save it. And then uh, we'll just go and uh, look for that in your personal list, right? So we created uh, this thing. Now, uh, this is a dynamic scan, so it, it will populate in a second. So see, this is done. So this way you don't need to change it uh, at all. Now let's look at these uh, stocks again. You know, three at least three lower lows, right? And then the high got taken out. Same thing with the Twilo. At least, you know, we have one, two, three lower lows, high got taken out, Lululemon. Uh, you know, it's got one, two, three, fourth, and on the fifth bar, it got taken out, right? So that's how you create a scan without writing a single line of code. Hopefully that helps. And I will, um, you know, let me know if you want to learn anything else on scanning, because um, I have a f reasonable amount of experience in, you know, creating different kinds of scans. But now using this, you can create scans for other patterns that you like. So um, enjoy your weekend. Bye-bye.